So Alex Antetokounmpo, the youngest of the Antetokounmpo brothers, has not been drafted in the 2021 NBA Draft. This was not much of a surprise to many given that he wasn't on many mock drafts, but he did get a chance to play for the Kings in the Summer League, though he was not very impressive. It would be fun though to see the Lakers try out another Antetokounmpo brother on something like a training camp deal, as this is the same brother Giannis said was the best out of all of them. So let's break down Alex's game, where he's at now, what his potential is and how he would fit with the Lakers if he does in fact get signed by them on a training camp deal. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I really appreciate all your guys support. So for some background, Alex is a 6'8 wing who was 19 years old and last played for UCAA America. During the 2020-21 season, he averaged 0 points as he only played 2 minutes in one game. So he didn't have much of an impact on the team at all, but what is his game like? Well, we got a chance to see it when he played on the B team in Spain, and he's an athletic wing who has shown the potential to become a decent driver to the rim, and has the tools to be a good finisher as well. But with that in mind, he is still very raw. He's also pretty good though at scoring on off the ball plays like cutting, where he seems to have a pretty good feel for when to move and get open. He's also a pretty good rebounder given his size and length, and he has a nice handle for a wing too. However, he does have a lot of cons to his game as he's a very inconsistent shooter though he has been improving his mechanics as of late, and his form actually reminds me of Jaron Jackson Jr's shot. Also, Alex does seem to be a pretty bad decision maker on offense as he has a habit of hoisting up a good amount of bad shots that aren't in the rhythm of the offense. Also on defense, while he has all the tools to become a good defender, he gets lost a lot which has been a driving factor to most of his problems here. So with that being said, what is Alex's outlook in the NBA? Well, he does not look like he could be better than Giannis and MVP, which I think is pretty safe to say, but there is some potential for him to become an actual NBA player. Like I've said before, he has all the tools in regards to size, speed, length, and also has that similar long stride like his brother, but he's going to need to work a lot on his shooting as he's both an inconsistent shooter from downtown and from the free throw line, and he needs to be more disciplined and focused on defense. If he maxes out his potential, I do believe he can be a bench wing defender who can be a good scorer on cuts and drives to the rim, and that would be a great turnaround for him. I think he has high expectations from some just because he has a last name in Tenacupo, but in reality, it's hard for these players, even with all the tools, to become legitimate NBA players. There's just so much great talent right now, and especially in a loaded draft, someone as raw as Alex had very little chance of getting drafted, unfortunately. So for what he's up to right now, he's still training and waiting to get signed by a team, whether it be on a training camp deal or a rookie contract, and like I said before, I would like to see him get a shot with the Lakers on a training camp deal. I could see him being a decent development piece who can be part of the Lakers G League roster next year, and he could continue to develop his game there and try to get a spot next year on an NBA team, whether it be with the Lakers or someone else. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited to see where Alex will land up, whether it will be with the Lakers or somewhere else. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want some more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on this video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on IG and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business, just drop a comment down below my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try it back to most of you guys there. Also let me know down in the comments below what do you think Alex Antetokounmpo's potential is and do you think he should get signed by the Lakers or another NBA team? Let me know why or why not as I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So with all that being said, once again thank you guys all for watching hopefully. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.